Hi, this is Joseph from Spreadsheets Made Easy, and today I want to talk about Boolean logic and why it matters. A Boolean in Excel is just a true or false. It's just a data type that means true or false, and this is used a lot in if statements or array formulas and things like that. And in Excel, you're probably familiar with this. If I did something like equals name equals Sam, we'll see that that's true for this cell but that's false for this cell. Now what you might not realize is that Booleans have a number equivalent. So for true, if I just say equals this guy plus zero, that'll convert that to a number. For true, it'll be one, and for false, it'll be zero. So true's number equivalent is one, and false's number equivalent is zero. And you might be saying, okay, that's, that's fine, but like, why does that matter? And the reason is because when you start putting these things into formulas that are more complicated, you can better understand how to make more complicated formulas, and it'll be easier to understand complicated formulas if you didn't write them yourself. So just to show you another set of information about Booleans, we see that again, true is one and false is zero. Now if we did math operations on that, and we said true times true, so it's just one times one equals one, one times false is zero, so that would be zero, zero times zero zero now knowing this information we can put that together with times a number other than true or false so you can say true times true times five that'll give you five true times false times five is going to be zero because the false equals zero and we could use this to our advantage when we make a complicated formula like for example we have a simple table here that shows the sales reps the regions and their sales now if we wanted to do some formula like what were the sales for John in the West region, we can do a, a nice array formula such as equals sum. I'm going to open close parentheses because we're going to need to surround each condition with parentheses. So the idea here is that we want to have a way to say, okay, the sales rep equals John, so that's one condition. The region is West, that's another condition. And from that, if the, both items are true, we want to show the sales and sum those up. So here in sum, we just are going to start with an open close parentheses because we're going to put each condition in its own set of parentheses. The first condition is the sales rep equals to John here. And I'm going to press F4 because I want to lock the column. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to say times open close parentheses. You might be wondering like, so what's going on with times here? You'll see in a moment, I'm going to add the next condition, region is west, so I'm going to highlight the region and say equals this region here, west, and I'm going to lock the row on that, so when I copy it to the right, it'll switch from west to east, and I'm going to say times, open close parentheses, and I'm going to come in here, I'm going to say the sales. Now I'm going to press control shift enter and you'll see that what happens is we get our answer which is that for John in the West region the total sales were nineteen thousand and forty five dollars to look at this further let's evaluate the formula from the evaluate formula tool so if you click on formulas and go to evaluate formula I'm gonna move this over so we can see here we have here sum of the first condition times the second condition times the last item, which isn't a condition, it's just the sales. So let's see here, if we evaluate this, the first thing that's getting evaluated is underlined, and that's the sales rep. So if we click evaluate, that'll expand out to say just what's in the table here, John, John, Jane, Zach, Zoe, etc. Then it just says equals E4, we have to evaluate, but what does E4 equal? E4 equals John, that's all right over here. Now we're gonna evaluate all these items against John. So does John equal John? That'll be true. The second one will be true. The third one will be false. So if we click evaluate, we'll see true, true, false, false, etc. Now we're gonna evaluate the next section here. So we're gonna expand out the sales region from these set of cells. So it's gonna say west, west, east, west, west, etc. West, west, east, west, west, etc. Now, does that equal F3? F3 over here is the West region. So it's just going to say, does West equals West? Does West equals West? Does East equals West? Etc. And we're going to get another set of true and falses.
based on that. Okay, now the next set is to evaluate these true statements against and false statements against these true and false statements here. And if they line up, it's going to, don't forget we're multiplying here. So true, the first true in this array times the first true in that array. So that's going to be one for that particular array index. And true times true again will be one. False times false will be zero. False times true will be zero. So that'll be one, one, zero, zero, and etc. So let's just double check that. Okay, so we have one, one, zero, 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 zero. That just says that the first two conditions, remember, is the sales rep John and is the region West. So sales rep John, true here, regions West, true here. So that is going to equal one because that's true times true. We saw that two, true times true equals one. True times true equals one again. False times false for Jane and East is going to be zero. False times true is going to be zero. False times true is zero, etc. So that's how we end up with one, one, and a bunch of zeros. Finally, we're going to evaluate the sales for these cells here. And that's just going to expand that out. Now we're multiplying one times that sales number. So one times 11,006 is 11,006. One times 8,039 is 8,039. And then zero times the rest is going to be zero. So let's evaluate that. And here we go. Then we have the final sum set of items in the array, which is 11,006 and 8,039, and then zeros. So the sum function now is going to take all that information, just add them all up. And that's how we get 19,045. So you can see here that it's really easy to understand this after you, you kind of understand the Boolean logic behind the scenes. And that's why when you see these array formulas with some that have this weird parenthesis, these parentheses and then these times, other set of parentheses, and it's weird because you're seeing like, okay, well, sales rep equals whatever times the region equals whatever times the sales. What does that even mean? Now you understand what that means. It just evaluates to true or false, and true or false evaluates to one or zero, and then you end up multiplying those items together, and you end up with a set of data that equals what you're looking for. In this case, what are the sales numbers for John in the West region? Finally, I could just sit here and expand this out, and now I have all my numbers that I want for the sales reps in their particular regions. And that's it for this video. This is Boolean logic, why it matters. It's going to help you understand array formulas a lot better when you evaluate them. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.